So it's going to be b total. But it's going to be negative because this is a minus x, right? The, when you uh, do substitution, the negative comes out. So it's going to be this minus that. I'll do the opposite order. One of the b's cancels this. So it goes 0, oh. When you put 0 in, you get uh, 0, right? And then you're just left with um, this one. I guess that's it, huh? That's a simple, you can't really get it simpler than that. Mu zero i over L over four pi B A minus L squared plus B squared to the one half. So we got a general answer. Now we can say, what would it be if um, we could kind of see if it uh, at different points? What would happen from that, what would happen if uh, a is uh, if uh, b is zero? If b is zero, you should get uh, it shouldn't even work really the equation, right? Because uh, the b is zero means it's along this path here somewhere. So uh, if b is zero, it should just go to infinity here. So that means, uh, well, B is zero means like this. What happens as you approach and as you touch it, you know, um, what we could do is find the limit, find the limit, so you can't really set it equal to zero, but we can find the limit of that as B goes to zero. And see what's its behavior like, right? So we can say mu zero I L over and then when b is 0 remember what we always do we uh, means it's a uh, you can ignore it compared to this right uh, so you have a minus l squared square root so you just have um, a minus l you know what i think something is wrong here hold on hold on when i do when I do a uh, substitution here, I say let u equal a minus x, right? Because in order for me to use the integral table, I need to make this of the form u squared plus b squared, right? So I was a little bit uh, um, careless here, you know. Uh, when I do this, uh, du is equal to negative dx, right? So one of the things that happens is the negative sign appears. Okay, so I should have a negative sign appearing here. But the other thing that happens is what? The, you, the, this changes, right? So the, if this is 0, if this is 0, the u should be equal to a. So down here, there should be a a. And when x is equal to l, this should be a minus. Uh, so that's, that's what happens when you think you know something and you're like careless. This should be A minus L, right? You get it? So you better, you got to change the, the upper and lower boundary. But then the negative can switch this. And now I put this in, what do I get? A minus L, I got to put in here a minus L, hold on, let's see here. I got to put into the X A minus L. And then I got to put in into this X A minus L, right? What happens there? If I put in here A minus L, A and A cancels, you just have left L. Minus... Now I put in A, and 
And then if I put in A here, oh, that cancels. So I just left B. I think now it's right, right? A minus L over L squared plus B squared. And then if you put in A, minus A over B. Okay, so now I can find the limit as B goes to zero. So if mu zero I B, and then if B goes to zero, what, what is this? If this is ignorable compared to that, then it becomes uh, just L, right? No. It would be zero. You know what I need to do? I need to. Okay, let me come back to that. Let me come back to this one. Let me uh, get other points here. What if, what if the a is zero? If a is 0, what do we get? We get mu 0 i over 4 pi If a is 0, this part cancels out and you just have negative L over L squared plus B squared to the one half. And you really can't simplify that too much more. So that would give us the magnetic field along the wire at some point here, if A is 0. OK? Just so that we can compare the numbers, let's, uh, let's give this some value. Let's say L is equal to 1 meter. And B is equal to uh, one meter from here to here. So it would look like this kind of. Because what I want to do is compare the magnetic field right here in the center and at this point. Right? So I want to compare here, here and here at three particular points. And I want to see what their magnitude of the magnetic field at the two end points are and the middle point and see if the formula makes sense. So if I put in here A is, uh, B is 1 and L is 1, so I get mu 0 I over 4 pi uh, B is uh, 1. This is 1, so you're left with 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 over radical 2. Is that it? So mu 0 i at this end is mu 0 i over 4 pi rad 2. OK? How about at this end, what should it come out if we did it right? It better be the same, huh? Got to be symmetrical. I don't see why the magnetic field here should be stronger than there. So what would I put over there for the formula? I would put eight is L, uh, A is L, right? So if I put A is L, what do you get? The first one cancels. The second one becomes... Uh, a is L, uh, so you're left with uh, L over B, right? 